Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is James. So today I'm out on the range with my brand new Aero Precision M41 build. I will be doing a complete video breakdown on this rifle here very, very soon. I'm just waiting on one more part. But before we get into the video, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, give it a like, and hit that notification bell. That way you get alerts whenever I have new content. So obviously today we are going to be focusing on this guy right here, the Ultrion Apollo Max. Uh, these have been out for quite some time now. I've been wanting one for a long time. They're supposed to greatly reduce recoil even though the AR-15 doesn't have a whole lot of recoil to begin with. Uh, it has five ports on the side, two on the top. The one concern for some people is the fact that the ports are faced back towards the shooter, so you may be receiving more gas. I don't know. I have not shot this yet. This will be first shots. So I did bring one AR-15 out too with this a standard birdcage uh, flash hider. So we'll kind of compare them and see. So we're going to go ahead and get started because I'm super excited to shoot this thing. All right, the ammo I'm using is just some standard 55 grain, 5.56, nothing fancy, just your run of the mill kind of target stuff. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, that didn't really feel like much of anything. Uh, to be honest, it, it felt like just more the inner workings of the gun more than anything else. Now, I do have to say, yeah, you're going to get some gas um, for sure. The, the, the blast coming out of this thing is pretty aggressive. So, yeah, that's definitely going to be, might, might put some people off, but I don't know if you could tell, but I, it was, yeah, the blast I felt more than anything else. Uh, so I'm going to shoot some more. Yeah, definitely uh, very loud, very gassy, but man, I can feel on my arms um, and definitely my face a little bit for sure. So that's something you're going to want to consider if that's going to be, uh, if you're concerned about gas, come back towards you when you're shooting fast. This is not going to be the break for you, but man, <laughs> the shots are just all going. I don't have a target set up today. I just wanted to test fire it, make sure I got everything installed right, which uh, with the timing nut this comes with, it literally to take off the the standard flash hider and install this one was like under five minutes. They make it very, very easy. You don't have to sit there and crank it and then shim it. And it just makes it very, very nice. Overall, I like it because there is very, very little recoil. It's crazy. I wasn't quite expecting that, I guess. Um, so I want to grab my other one just to kind of give you, actually, real quick, just to kind of give you an idea here. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I think you can tell by my reaction that I love it. Um, so yes, I, I'm not that concerned about the gas. Yeah, it's, it is what it is, but okay. <laughs> I'll grab my other one and uh, just kind of give you a comparison. All right, so this one here is just a stock. There's nothing fancy about it. You can tell it's got a regular uh, flash hider on there. This is actually uh, one I'm working on for my son, but we'll go ahead and give it a go. I jerked the trigger a little bit on that first one, um, just because I don't shoot one hand with my AR a lot. So, um, yeah, you could definitely feel it more. So now I'm going to shoulder it and just kind of give you an idea of what it looks like shouldered. Yeah, and like I said, there's not much recoil to these things anyways. So uh, that little extra boost is definitely a big change in... To me, a positive and it's worth it. But to some, you guys, you know, may not be that muzzle blast may not be worth it to you. Um, but man, I'm gonna grab and shoot it again. I can't. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and rattle off whatever's left in this magazine. I'll, there's, I don't know, a few in there. Whew. Yeah. <laughs> and you might be able to see on the video, I don't know, as far as how much gas is coming back, but um it's not like it hurts you or anything like that it's just yeah you're going to kind of get it but uh it didn't seem to when i was looking out uh with those two top vents pointing out that way or ports uh, i think that helps too with as far as your uh, your sight acquisition as far as gas is getting in the way so overall yeah i'm very surprised and happy with this thing um yeah uh now too i forgot to mention as you can tell, this is going to be significantly longer. This is three inch, so it's going to be about double the size of your standard flash hider. So keep that in mind. Um, if the extra length is going to bug you, you know, you might want to find something uh, 
shorter. They do make different models of these too, so you can check those out. And there's a ton of other muzzle brakes. Uh, you can definitely kind of tell like on here, I don't know, probably can't see, but yeah, a lot of gas build already on the, on the end of it. But, um, and if you're running a flashlight, you're probably gonna wanna need to clean that often as well. But yeah, overall, I'm very uh, happy with it. And I'm gonna be doing some more shooting with this. Uh, probably do, I might do another video on this, a part two to this, just to kind of show how quickly you can get uh, accurate shots on target, um, maybe on paper or steel. Uh, just kind of give you an idea of how quickly you can get follow-up shots. So anyways, guys, thank you so much. Um, please, again, make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. See you guys soon. Bye.